Hey, 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 thanks for watching my channel. I am the Divine Maverick, also known as the mother of twins, helping you along your twin flame journey for some of you, which can be a very daunting, daunting journey. If this is your first time watching the channel, then I gotta tell you that everything that comes out of my mouth from the time you start watching the video is uh, part of the reading. Whether I'm laughing, crying, singing, dropping cards, the dogs are barking, whatever's happening, it's part of the reading. It may or may not resonate as it is a general reading. Uh, so maybe it resonates, maybe it won't. If it doesn't, chuck it. Leave it for somebody else. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for your likes, your subscribes, your shares, your comments. Thank you for keeping our comment section a place of love and light, healing, encouragement, illumination, enlightenment. Thank you for not being toxic or negative or anything low vibrational in the comments thank you so much for keeping at a place of um healing healing so that so it is a safe place for people to have a you know conversation and even uh, glean some knowledge um if you like the way i read uh i call my sessions my personal readings love and light sessions we run the gamut it's like two old friends chatting with tarot cards huh but um if you want one of those everything you need to know about that is just is found in the description box below everything you need to know with that, um, I want to do some uh, new reading, like a, not a new reading, but a new spread, just using the major arcana. I got hold of this, and I'm just I just can't get enough of it. Um, just the major arcana, and I'll be clarifying with my mini tarot deck um, with everybody in there. The major and minor arcana, probably gonna get a um, from Rumi deck an oracle card, like an outcome card or something. I don't know what this is gonna be yet. When we get there, I'll I'll know what it's gonna be <laughs> as I'm intuitively guided. See, the dogs are barking. We don't know, right? Girls, I'm working, and I'm not turning this off. If y'all new to this channel, just get used to the dogs. They're part of the reading. <laughs> um, so with that, and we may get some angel guidance at the end. So with that, let's check in with the tea. Let's get some tea for, um, well, I don't know who it would be for. Let's do, let's do the Divine Masculine. Of course, y'all like to watch those videos so much about the Divine Masculine, see what he's up to. Um, spirit guys, I just thank you all for, ooh, star card. I just thank you all for being here. Thank you so much, spirit, for just giving me directions from, uh, directions, <laughs> guidance from all directions, time and space, past, present, future, fire, earth, air, water, all the elements are present. And I call upon them now. Thank you for being here. Thank you, my ascended masters, for being here. All knowledge. Thank you, my sages and my guides. Thank you, guys. Everybody. I appreciate y'all for being here. And I thank you for being a part of my life. Now, what shall we say? What shall we give? If I can hold on to these cards. Somebody can't seem to hold on to their stuff. <laughs> Somebody's about to lose their stuff. <laughs> Somebody. I don't know. It's getting hot in here, too. Somebody might like that artist, Nelly. It's getting hot in here. Or it could be this dog on fabric I got on in this dress. Either way, this is part of the reading. I want you to know somebody's rambling. Because they don't know what to say. They don't know how to say it. So they just keep talking, talking. It might be a nervous chatter, chatter, a uh, little, little chatter bug. Is that a word? I made it up. Somebody's making up words. <laughs> Somebody might be making up stuff to tell you because they don't have the words to say. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Somebody might be buying a new pickup truck, a black one. Ford 250. You might know somebody with a black Ford 250. No, I'm not being paid by Ford. I'm just saying. That's what, <laughs> that's what I see. Somebody might be getting a new motorcycle. Somebody might have a motorcycle. Somebody might have been in a motorcycle accident. We're praying for you. You're fine, but next time, don't get on after you've had a couple, right? Somebody's dog might be barking and always going to the door barking because somebody's expecting somebody to come. You could be expecting your DM to show up any minute now. Somebody might be getting a surprise visit from somebody, but it's not going to really be a big, big, big surprise because your dog is going to bark and give it all away. High Priestess just showed. I'm ready. Okay, China, I'm working. Let me split. All right, five cards of the spread. Oof. First out is the Emperor. I'm going to just let her bark, y'all. I'm going to let her be great. All right. How well can y'all see that? So we have the Emperor out. We have the Chariot out. We have the Fool out, the Magician out, and the Star out. I'll put that right there for now. We don't need that again. Now I'm going to start messing with these. So we've got Aries out here. We've got Air out here with the Fool and the um, the fool and the Magician is Fire. 
and air. To me, the magician is fire and air. The star is out here. Aquarius is out here. And uh, Cancer is out here. Hmm. Huh. Okay. So there is a divine masculine that... China is feeling very, very victorious in what he's doing. Uh, the bag is secured. The bag was never unsecured. <laughs> unsecured, but very, very um, victorious in what he's doing, where he's working. Probably feeling very victorious with you, Divine Feminine. But I'm feeling, let me just be honest, I'm feeling more so very victorious in his life. Whatever he, he's doing, he feels like he has arrived. He's feeling, the, the chariot is all about um, passion and fire and aggression it's like um, full of piss and vinegar. Sorry about you know if I offended anybody, but that's an old phrase. Full of piss and vinegar. That's like young boys when they just do stuff, like drive fast cars. This masculine might drive fast cars. He might even have a Corvette. But um, anyway, this masculine is feeling very, very uh, sure of himself and very confident. And this is what you want to see. You don't want to see that victim mentality. You don't want to see that woe is me. But the masculine is right now feeling that he is in control. Control! Never gonna stop. Okay, anyway, um, also, like I said, somebody might be coming to somebody's door and the dog's gonna give them away. Uh, this masculine might be thinking about going somewhere. Not sure. We'll clarify, though. All right, so that's how he's feeling as um, far as the earth is concerned. Let's see. Let's see. Feeling like I'm um, taking a leap of faith with his emotion. See, that's what's going on with these sleeves and all this material knocking over my spread. Knocking over my spread. Somebody's clumsy. Somebody might find that they are prone to accidents and they can't stop knocking things over in the house or, you know, different things, knocking things over. You might have knocked something over recently in the store and somebody might say, what's wrong with you, fool? I don't know. Anyway, the fool is here for the masculine uh, with his emotions. I love that. The fact that he's taking a leap. He's not guarded. He's not... Um, uh, this masculine has let go of past hurts. This masculine is in a very um, happy, happy space, a space of daring do a space of um courage a space of taking a leap taking a that the the food card is all about um fresh and new like a baby this masculine has a new le a new lease on life and this masculine might be leaving it looks look at the little fool with the um with the little thing over his back his little backpack and he might just be taking some a t-shirt some boxes and a pair of jeans all right and wearing some flip-flops i don't know with a turtleneck i don't know with a pair of sunglasses i don't know carrying a white rose for you but the point is and he might be taking the dog too and your little dog too he might be going to kansas you might be watching from this watching this from kansas anyway this masculine is feeling very good. Um, I love the fact that there's a lot of healing out here. The star is out here with the fool. The fool is out here with the magician. The magician is out here with the chariot. This is a good read. This is a healthy masculine. Somebody is awoke. <clears throat> and everything that I need, I have. Everything that I need at my disposal is right in my grasp right now. A lot of healing, knowing what's in that tool belt, knowing what I work, what I'm working with, knowing what my triggers are, understanding what has been triggering me. Somebody's masculine is, I don't know who's watching this, but your masculine has growed, growed up. Your masculine has growed up. He's a different masculine. He seems like he's transformed even. He is feeling like he can do anything. Very, very um, aggressive, very sure very solid. If your masculine was going in and out, he's now become, he's in a, in a much more a solid place. He might even be living with other people, like might have moved out of a um, difficult situation and living either on his own or living with some friends or some frat brothers or um, somebody, you know, um, uh, uh, some family members that need help, especially during this time. But this masculine is sure of himself. This masculine is showing a strength that he's probably has a display to you in a long, long time. This is probably what made you, this this magician masculine is probably what made you fall in love with him in the first place. But he's there, he's in there because he's coming up as the emperor. And this is all about learning and understanding rules, understanding order, discipline. This masculine is, is, is being orderly and he's had some discipline. If he, like I said, if he was in and out and all over the place and, and, and coming up as a page or, or acting um, childish or immature, he is very, very sure of himself. Aries energy again, and very, very, um, I hear the word sophisticated. This might be an older masculine too, looking at that beard on that um, emperor there. But I'm just saying he's very, he's, he, he's very sophisticated. They might say he's getting his grown man in. That's what we might say. That's what they say in the hood, which I'm not from. 
but I like it. Anyway, the star, nothing wrong with the hood, by the way. Those of you who are watching from the hood, thanks for watching. Anyway, um, the star card, Aquarius energy here. But um, let me see, this is water, earth. Hold on, y'all. I told you it was a new spread. Give me a minute. <laughs> That's my air. That's my air. Of course. All right. So <laughs> in his thinking, he's definitely healed in his thinking. And, and also, he's not ashamed. He understands the lessons that he's learned. This masculine has gone through some, some moments, some tower moments, and matured a whole lot. With this energy here, the star card, um, he makes even think of you as his star, you know, uh, sweetie. So I just call, he might call you sweetie. I don't know why I just called y'all sweetie, but somebody gets called sweetie. Anyway, this masculine feels very much um, at peace with his thoughts, with his, as far as his communication. He's ready to speak uh, healing. He's ready, ready to speak about reconciliation. He's ready to apologize for some of these masculines. Also, um, with the star card out here, this masculine has come through, like I said, some battles, and now he's like naked and unashamed. It's like whatever he did, whatever he went through, I don't know, this masculine might have been ex-felon. This masculine might have done some things that he's not proud of. Like, you know, he, like I said, I've just here uh, caught a case. I don't know, somebody's masculine might have beat a murder charge. I, that was so random. But I promise y'all, when I was talking, I heard murder was the case that they gave me. That, smoot, that uh, Snoop Dogg song. So anyway... I don't know. And if that's so, that's grace on upon your masculine's life. If your masculine beat a murder charge or was an accomplice to murder or something. I don't know. This reading just got real, a little bit darker. But anyway, what I'm saying about this is the masculine is feeling um, in his, in his, uh, his head space that he has hope. He's hopeful that he's going to get past all the even the toxic thoughts he might've had about you or the reservations he might've had about you. And he's going to be expressing this to you. He's going to be communicating this hope and this healing. And, and again, he's going to be very vulnerable. See that lady's bucket. That lady is, is in her birthday suit. Um, you sure look cute when you're dancing in your birthday suit. I bet, you know what I'm saying? So this masculine is, is coming to you in his birthday suit. Well, <laughs> You might have just seen him in his birthday suit, but not, but figuratively, he's coming to you naked and unashamed. That's what I mean. He's coming to you in his birthday suit. Just everything, he's going to lay all the cards on the table. What? Look this. He's going to pour it all out. See those cisterns? And this lady's pouring, this woman, see that? He's going to pour it all out. Pour it out, all those emotions, all his thoughts. He's going to tell you his thoughts. For once, he's going to finally let you in on, on his thoughts with all the secrets. Let's clarify a few. Um, where are we? 12 minutes? Okay. Ah! Ah, clarify the magician. What is this masculine planning to do? So that now that he's all up in his uh, magician fire energy, what is he planning on? What's going to happen? What's he planning on doing? <laughs> he planned on being sneaky. No, he's <laughs> he planned on being slick with it. Somebody's trying to surprise somebody. Somebody's trying to come from the like then you're not in in other words you're not going to see this coming this masculine is going to tiptoe right back into your you know um got you get to end of my life into my life got to get you into my life algero rest in peace but anyway this masculine is going to tiptoe right back in with you i know this card is normally uh sneaky energy and and deceptive but i ain't feeling that this masculine is literally about to tip in because he's just he going he's a smooth operator <laughs> smooth Operator, coast to coast, LA to Chicago. Listen, you might be in LA or Chicago, but this masculine has a new, he's got a new thought. He's got a new thought about you. His clarity has come, so he's about to creep back in. He feels like he can do it now with this magician energy, so he's going to tell you about his clarity that has come. That's why I said that star card is up there. And then finally, listen. This is not. This is ten. Whatever he was in dealing with, it's over. Whatever he was was keeping him from you. What whatever. Look, what, look at this. With the magician, I clarified it. Whatever was blocking him from you, he's a magician now. He's good. He's ten. It's over. Whatever that ten of swords is, ascension. That ten of swords means. Um. Okay. Oh, you got me. Oh, like all his thoughts that have overcome him, he's finally just surrendered to them, right? Everything that was trying to overcome him. These could be even people, all those people stabbing him in the back or all those people trying to rely on him for things. That's over. If you knew your masculine was like carrying a family situation or a lot of people were relying on, on his income or his, his presence, his expertise, his something, they were, he had a lot of people hanging on him. That's over. He's broken that, and he's getting up from that. Can't go nowhere but up from there. See that? He's flat on his face. Can't go nowhere but up. So that's his next act. His next action. Let's put one on the chariot card. 
with how he's feeling. Why is he feeling so confident? Why is he feeling so good about things? Oh, that was a lot. I'm not taking any of those, though. But thank you, Spirit. But y'all, I'm going to glance at them without y'all looking. Oh, those are good. All right. I ain't going to tell you. <laughs> it's not important. What's important is what I'm what I'm doing now. Okay, ready? Just take these top three. Oh, he's feeling calm. And this is not the third party. This is, listen, listen to me. That's not third party energy. That is the celebration that goes along with the chariot. He's happy. He's, he's able to celebrate finally. Celebrate some victory. Celebrate some milestones. I told you he secured the bag with the chariot. Whatever he's doing, he, he got what he was, look. You, um, oh, sorry. I didn't tell you the signs. Uh, that's water energy, of course. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And then the Queen of Swords is out here, right? Now, let me put one more card on it before I tell you what the message is. Now, the Two of Wands is, okay. God, dog. Now I got another. <laughs> Soon as I said that, then something else. Okay, I'm going to give the message. I don't know who that is watching. It's okay, because you know what? You know what? You know what? Let me just say this. I got a new new view on karmic energy. Karmic energy. Karma is neither good nor bad. It's all what, whatever you throw out in the universe is going to come back to you. So do something good so good can come back to you. If you're doing some messy, foul stuff, then messy, foul stuff is going to come back to you, period. So when we speak of karmic energy, I'm not going to go, uh, you know, I'm just going to say <laughs> karmic, uh, divine feminine, you know, you know, a karmic, especially if it's a person, if it's another relationship, another person that's dealing with your little union, it's not, you know, that's the, just a divine feminine in reverse, all right? So anyway, let me do the first message, though, before y'all get started. But this is a um, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra energy, Queen of Swords. And, you know, this is about somebody cutting somebody off because this masculine did. Oh, I got to do it. I can't help myself. So you were being blocked. Let me just say that. Who, whoever this is, this masculine I'm reading for, he was being blocked by this Queen of Swords energy. Like I said, it could be an air sign. And he two of wands in reverse is, is somebody being not being able to expand, not being able to. They're being limited. They're being uh, uh, blocked. That's that's what it is. Because um, with the two of wands, this is all about um, you get a good idea. You want to do something. And with the eight, like the ace of wands comes before the, the two of wands. So you get a good idea about something. You want to start something. And then the two of wands is when you when you decide which way you're going to go, like which direction. Like, I see what I'm going to do. I'm going to launch out. I'm going to, these are the steps I need to take to make it happen. Well, when it's in reverse, of course, the steps you want to take to make it happen does not happen. It cannot. And it was being blocked by this queen of swords energy. So this was actually a third party, which I was trying to avoid. But that's what spirit does. Spirit like, look, give the whole story. Don't give the story at all. So there's, for, for, for those people. People that are listening, this is um, this masculine is feeling very good and triumphant because he um, has removed the blockage that was coming from this Queen of Swords with this third party. So this third party uh, stuff is over, uh, finito, gone, done. He's feeling really good. He may be even coming towards you to um, what to tell you that Ace of Swords. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's clarify one more. Um, the Fool we might as well do the star if we're doing that. But let's clarify the Fool and just see why this masculine feels like. The past is behind it. Well, duh, because whatever the blockage was. Oh, man. Now I got to call a reading this, too. No! <laughs> anyway, whatever the blockage was, the blockage has removed. So he's happy about that. So, is my deck upside down? No, it is not. Okay. Here we go. So the fool card came out. I said he feels like a new baby starting a journey. He's ready to take a leap of faith. He's ready to just do things he's never done before because he feels like he, it's brand new. You know, you make me feel brand new. All right. So the reason why was this masculine was, again, just like the blocked energy I said with the chariot, this masculine was not able to do what he wanted to do. He was in his mind. He was all up in his feelings. And so he wasn't the king of wands. The king of wands, when he's straight up, is like he knows what he wants. He's um, aggressive. He's passionate. He's focused. He's intentional. Well, with the king of wands in reverse, this is somebody who is um, sometimes lazy. This masculine was probably lazy a lot. This masculine was probably very, very acting very childlike, uh, shirking responsibility. This masculine was probably blaming um, you or, or other people for their, you know, their, their predicament or whatever was going on in their life. Um, um, this masculine, uh, king of wands in reverse, this masculine is, is not doing anything, doesn't even have a plan. This is somebody that doesn't have a clue or a plan. They don't have any intentions because they're just sitting there waiting for life to happen to them and not for them. So he was in that energy, but now he's not. That's why he feels like a fool and a fresh baby ready to take this journey because, because 
magician came out to clarify because, like I said, now we have the magician out here twice because this masculine is triumphant and that he feels like he has everything he needs at his disposal, every tool, every thought, every plan, every hope, every wish, every desire, every uh, the intellect, everything. I got the, the physicality, the mental, I'm mentally ready, spiritually ready, emotionally ready to do this. So that's why he um, came out of this. That's why he feels like a fool to take this leap of faith. And also... He fought, I fought the law, but the law didn't win. The song is I fought the law, but the law won. But this song, this is the song. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just became a DJ. This next song. No, but anyway, this card is all about, the Five of Swords is all about somebody, you know, people win, people lose. This masculine won. Look at him holding the swords. You know, some people were coming up against him, probably, you know, what he was wanting to do. Like, you're going to move or you like her or you want to do what? Or you think she's good enough for you? And, you know, whatever, he, whatever it was that was coming against him, he defeated. Like, he, he literally went to battle because um, after, after some contemplation, because the card before this would be the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is all about healing and contemplation. But this five is about now that I've been asleep and got some rest and got a new... I, Got a what? Wait, let me go to the card. Got a new thought. Got some clarity. I'm ready to fight. Who's 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 with it? Come on, come on. That's what that's kind of what he said. So anyway, that's why he's feeling like a fool because he overcame all the stuff that was trying to overcome him. Okay. All right, that's all I'm gonna clarify. What time is it? All right, let's get one card. So Spirit, what do you have to say to this masculine? What is the next thing you're working with this masculine with? Or what is the overall energy or the overall feeling of this reading, of this message that we just received? That this masculine <laughs> fought the law. This masculine fought and he won. I don't know what I'm going to call it. Something like that. Woo! That fell on the, that fell on the flizzle. All right. Fire. Fire! And it's like he's almost dancing, which goes right along with our two magicians that came out. Let me, let me pull them so y'all can see. So my two magician cards came out, right? And of course, this is fire energy and, and air. I consider magician air as well, but um, that's me. But anyway, um, this masculine is really fiery and passionate about the connection, fiery and passionate about his life. And I feel with this masculine very, very strongly that he needed to know who he was as a man, as a, as a man, you know, as a man before he could even think about considering you and feminine if that's hard for you to hear then that means you still need to heal because if you're triggered by that that, that like girl he wasn't thinking about you like that if that triggers you then it's okay baby you just need to heal a little bit more okay but that's what i'm saying but now this is what you were waiting for it was long awaited long in coming but he's ready to he's passionate about about life you know what i mean and you are his life you are included in the plan of his life so you know just be happy that he was able to do the work because there's somebody that's still waiting on their masculine to actually do the work last um, message recovery you shall recover all see the relationship is going to experience recovery everything that you thought you lost whether it was time whether it was patience whether it was love whether it was um yeah i'm feeling time a whole lot you're going to re it's going to be a recovery okay and so for a very, 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 very few of you, this masculine had to go through like a recovery from drugs or alcohol or something. And, you know, now he is, you know, he's, he's where he needs to be. He's very much in his emperor. You got the emperor, the chariot, the fool and the magician. Girl, you ought to be shouting right now. You know what I mean? Having such an attitude of gratitude and such gratefulness to the universe for still working with his old um, blockhead. All right. Some of y'all got masculines that have square, fit, square heads. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just saying. Okay. And you better love his square head too, all right? All right? If you know he's square, he don't cut any corners. What? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and, um, you know, thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already part of the tribe. Because if you subscribe, then you are, why did I run out of breath? Somebody, somebody might be trying to work out and find out you're running out of breath. If that is so, keep going. You'll, it'll get better. Just don't, you know, keep going. Be consistent. Your masculine is. <laughs> but um, if you subscribe to the channel, it'll put your energy in some of these readings. So we appreciate you watching. I do appreciate you watching. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.